Let's line up right here, guys. Okay. This is just this is just one of the hurdle, one of the part of the plyos that we do after the quick feed. We always do something with plyos every single day, whether it be low level or high level, depending on what we do in the weight room. It all kind of goes together. This one we're only going to have six hurdles, and we're practicing on jumping. Okay, so when you guys jump through here, I want this one to have a pause. Okay, so you're going to jump and pause in a good position. You guys have done this before, right? Remember? Okay. When you go in here, what, what we're trying to get them to do is you guys are going to think about putting force in the ground and using your arms. Okay, so every single jump, think about pushing in the ground, just getting a good solid jump, jump. Got it? Ready? And you'll go on, let's go on my count, okay? Ready, set, go. Easy. Go. 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 Stay in that athletic position. Go. Put force in the ground. Go. Arm swing, push. Go. 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 Push your feet in the ground. Use your arms. Go. 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 And go. Good, it's very simple. Just working on putting force in the ground and maintaining good position. Something simple like this, doing it right, can go a long way. Next one, we're just gonna go continuous, okay? On you, I'll say go. Once she gets to about the third hurdle, you guys can follow along, okay? Ready, set, go. Upper body tall, knees high. Cycle your arms through every time. When you bounce, put force in the ground. Put force in the ground. Nice, good job. Very simple, very effective. Good. Let's do that one more time. Something we're gonna focus on again is not letting your heels touch the ground. Okay, stay on your toes, be light, be quick. Let's, let's have this one as quick as possible, force in the ground. Ready, set, go. Quick, quick. There you go, nice job. Torso up, Megan, torso up. Nice, Mott. Good. Nice, very good. Something like this you guys can go, you can do as many reps as you want doing the pausing, okay? Work on the pauses, work on the position, work on forcing the ground, work on the arm swing. All those little things, when you bring it to the big picture, that's what will help the best, okay? This is just those things, you know, I, I showed you three right in a row. You can set it up however you want, however it works. I like it on a cadence. It kind of goes, it's very easy to do. They're all together working the same thing. The next thing we're gonna do is come over here to these hurdles. Again, this is a low level, and I like, and you know, obviously they can jump higher than those hurdles, but working on those skills is what we're trying to accomplish here. On hurdles like this, it's really quick. I don't go higher than this when we work different, different angles, okay? First we're gonna go to the front, and usually I go two or three there, and then we'll go from the side, but for us, we'll go one time through straight, and then when you come back, face that way, Again, face that way, we'll go lateral, okay? Same kind of thing, get your arms going, put force in the ground, be light and quick. Ready, set, go. On you, carp. Good, go. Work on keeping your body tall, knees up, quick off the ground. Nice job, good. Very simple, it's simple. Good, easy drills. Guys, keep your body square to the wall, okay? Stay parallel, feet parallel. Feet land hip width. Very good, very good. Good arm cycles, guys, good arm cycles. And the second time again, here we go, carp. Working the same kind of things. Body control, that's so important at that level. Learn how to control your body. Good, and normally what we'll do there is we'll go four or five reps forward four or five reps facing that way, four or five reps facing this way, working on those different things that we talked about with the hurdles. It's that simple.